Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this video is a continuation of my previous video. So in the previous video, we have seen two definitions for function. So now let's see the third definition. All these definition means the same. All right. So here it says it's a rule that gives new element out of some given element. Say for example, f of x, it is represented as f of x, which is equal to 2x plus 1. This is a rule. So now if you put x is equal to 1, here x is a natural number. Let's take x belongs to natural number. So now if, if you take x of f of 1, so this will be 2 into 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 will give you 3, right? Now if you take f of 2, so 2 to the 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. Now if you take f of 3, which is equal to 3 to the 6 plus 1 is 7. So it's a rule that gives new element out of some given elements. When you put 1, you will get 3. When you put 2, you will get 5. When you put 3, you will get 7. Right? So here, 1 is related to 3. 2 is related to 5. 3 is related to 7. And so on. Right? So what is this? This is much the relation, gives the relation between 1 and 3. So this is nothing but your relation. They are related from the rule, right? Now this R is said to be a function only when every element of set A has one and only one image in set B. Now if you see the arrow diagram for this, here set A is nothing but natural numbers, right? So here 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And here set B is also a natural number. We are getting 3, 5, 7. These are also natural numbers. So we have 3, 5, 7 and so on. So every element of set A, 1 has an image 3, 2 has an image 5, 3 has a seven, uh, image 7. So it satisfies the condition of function. So it is qualified to function. So now we can write this is a function from set n to n. Right? So therefore this is a function. So it's a rule that gives new element out of some given element. We are putting one element and we are getting another element. Now let me give another example. Let me erase this. Now let's see f of x is equal to 1 by x. Whether this is a function or not where x belongs to real numbers. Let's check if this is a function or not. So now we will take a value of x which is a real number. We know real number range from Minus infinity to plus infinity. So let's take f of minus 2. Let's replace x with minus 2. So 1 by minus 2, which is nothing but minus half. If I say f of minus 1, which is equal to 1 by minus 1 will give you minus 1. f of 0, what is f of 0? So 1 by 0. 1 by 0 is nothing but not defined. So f of 1, f of 1 is 1 by 1. So 1 by 1 is 1. So f of 2 is 1 by 2. And so on, we can put any values of x. Now if you see, for every element, here for minus 2, we have minus half as an image. For minus 1, we have minus 1. For 0, we don't have anything, not defined. So this doesn't satisfy the condition of function. For a function, Every element of set A should have one and only one image. For 0, we don't have any image. So this will not satisfy the condition of function, right? So therefore, we cannot say this as a function. But we can make this as function by excluding 0 from real number. Agreed? So if I say it's a function from R minus 0, if you subtract or if you remove 0 from the real number to R, then we can say this is a function, right? It's a function. I hope you are getting my point. So if you take this f of 0, value of 0, other than that, all the values will get one image. So if you remove this value, 0, then it will satisfy the condition of function. So therefore we wrote function from r minus 0 to r. Then this will be a function, right? In other words, we can say at which point this denominator will become 0. So in this case, at the point of 0, right? When x is equal to 0, 
this will become zero. So that point you have to exclude. Let me give you another example. Let me erase this. Let's say we have function f of x is equal to x square minus 1 by 2x. Here where x is a belongs to real number. For what value of x this denominator will be 0. We know when denominator comes 0 means it's not defined right. So for what value of x this denominator will be 0. So 2x is equal to 0. This implies x is equal to 0 by 2 which is nothing but 0. For x is equal to 0 this denominator will be 0. So we have to exclude this x is e value of 0 from the real number set to make this as a function right. So you can write f is a function from real number excluding 0 to r. Then we can say f of x is equal to x square minus 1 by 2x is a function. Now let's see what is domain in this case. We have already seen the definition for domain. Domain is nothing but the first elements of the ordered pairs, right? Here the first elements are, which is nothing but the values of x, real number values, right? So therefore, real number r is the domain. But here x is equal to 0 is not included in r. So now how we can write domain definition? In that case, we can say the set of values of x at which function is defined. Agreed? So let me write the definition here. So you can rewrite this domain as it is a set of values of x at which function is defined. That means at the values of all the values of x where you will get an image that values are included. So in this case x is equal to 0 is not included where the function is not defined at, at this point right. So we are excluding this value. So it is a set of values of x at which function is defined. Other than x is equal to 0 all the values are included in domain right. So your domain is r minus 0. So this is your domain and what is codomain? Codomain is nothing but r. r means whatever you get as an output. So if you want to see in this example, here domain is r minus 0. So this is your domain. We are excluding this 0 value, right? And codomain is r. Here r is these values, minus half, minus 1, 1, minus 2, which is nothing but your r, right? So I hope this is clear. Now let's move to what are real functions and real valued functions. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So now let's see what is this real function. It says if function is defined as f from domain to codomain, then this function is said to be a real function if domain is a subset or equal to real number and codomain should also be a subset or equal to real number. So for a function to be a real function, it should satisfy these two conditions. The input what you give should be a real number and what you output you are getting that also should be a subset or equal to a real number. Let's take an example. Let's say a function f of x which is equal to x square plus 1. We know this is a function. Now we have to check if this is a real function or not. Where function is defined from domain to codomain. So the values of x should be a domain. So we know what is the definition of domain. Domain is nothing but the set of all the values of x where the x is defined. Right? So now if you take the real values. So uh, f of minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 square is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Now if you take f of minus 2. So minus 2 square is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Now if you take f of 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So here we are taking 0 because here the uh, uh, x value is defined. The function is defined at 0. The image of 0 is 1, right? Any values you can take f of 3 by 2. It is also a real number right which is equal to when you put substitute x is equal to 3 by 2. So that will be 3 3 is a 9 9 by 4 plus 1 which is equal to 4 plus 9 is 13. So 13 by 4 which is also a real number. So now here if you see here domain is nothing but the values we give that is a subset of real number right. 
and codomain. Here the codomain is the value what we get, right? Which is also a subset of real number. If you want to be more specific, here real number is positive real numbers. So whenever you give a negative value also you will get a positive, right? So it is a subset of real number. So therefore we can say this function is a real function. Now what is real valued function? So real valued function is nothing but if function is defined from domain to codomain is said to be a real valued function if codomain is a subset or equal to R. So codomain should be a subset or equal to R. The answer what you get, output what you get should be a subset or equal to a real number. The input whatever you can give. So that doesn't matter. So now if you take same example here this function is also a real valued function because the domain codomain is a subset of real number, right? So therefore in real valued function the output what you get should be a subset or equal to real number. Input doesn't matter. Alright. I hope this is clear. So this is it in this video. See you soon. Till then take care. Almighty bless.